All right, so for the next gap fill, it's going to be the the legs and the torso. And there's some pretty decent gaps on the sides here. And then a little bit on the the back. Uh, and this time, <coughs> uh, again, the the gap here is skin, so I want it to attach to the torso, not the jeans. So we will be putting the mask on the jeans here. Uh, but this time, instead of ruining a brush, um, we can use uh, the silicone sculpting tools. And you can actually dip this right in there. Uh, the benefit is when the, if this dries on the on the silicone, it won't stick. You can just rub it off. And we're just going to cover this in a thin layer, or as thin as we can. It is um, it is hard to get it thin when using this as opposed to a brush, but it's easier clean up at the end. So um, I will be back as soon as this is all covered. All right, so I've got the whole perimeter covered. I'm going to let it dry. Um, some of it did pour down into the bottom there, which I don't want. So once it's dry, we'll go ahead and uh, just use a, an X-Acto blade or whatever and kind of cut that off and, and pull it out before we before we do the hot glue. All right, and I'm back and everything has dried. I did go ahead and cut out that piece that fell down at the bottom. So now we're going to go ahead and... Oh, hot glue this. I've got my hot glue gun here. Now this one, the the keys are a little loose, so I'll have to be I'll have to put a, a pretty decent amount of hot glue in there to get it to make contact. So we'll just do you know just a little bit here and there, and we'll press it in. It doesn't have to be perfect. It can be a little loose. It's just got to be enough to hold it while we do our, our sculpting. Or our, our patching work, rather. Alright. <coughs> while that glue is cooling, um, I have gone ahead and I thickened up the resin that we used from last time. And it's much more of a, of a paste now. It doesn't drip or anything. That'll be good for pushing into those cracks and crevices. So I guess the only thing left to do is to get started. So let's grab us a chunk of this resin here. And patch away. I might change to a different tip here. We'll see. Now this is a pretty deep, uh, pretty deep recess, and you don't want to fill it all the way up the first go around. You want to kind of cure it in layers. So we'll get what we can done with this one, and then go back in again with the second one. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of fill these in. This resin might actually be a little too thick. But we'll make do. Try to get it angled right here for the camera.
Okay, and then I'm gonna, gonna smooth this out here and see where we're at. Oh, that hot glue's kind of letting go. All right, well, hold on. All right, so I'm back. Uh, I went ahead and I cleaned this off. The good news is until you cure it, you can kind of just wipe it off as you need. I'm going to go ahead and clean up this hot glue and we'll try again. And I'm probably going to thin out that resin a little bit here. Um, with it a little thinner, I won't have to push on it as hard. And hopefully it'll keep the glue from coming loose a second time. Alright, it should be good. Okay, while that's cooling, go ahead and I'll thin out this resin here into the thick one. That's probably a little better there. Still doesn't really want to drip, but it's a bit more liquidy. And let's let's try again, huh? Oh yeah, that's gonna go in a little bit nicer here. Um, another benefit of doing it this way or with the resin is you don't have to do the whole thing at once. We can kind of get this part cured or filled, cured, and then we can flip to the other side. It's probably a bit too much for all at once, but... Okay, I'm just going to work on cleaning up this, this edge up here with stuff I don't want. Okay, UV. I'll go ahead and probably time lapse doing the rest of it. And then uh, we'll come back and see the, the final result here. All right. But real time, that took about eight minutes to go ahead and get all those layers put on there. Uh, there's two or three layers. And I might go back and revisit it a little bit more just to kind of smooth things out. But. So we can see, like with a bit of sanding, that'll 
it'll turn out pretty nice, I think. So moment of truth is can we separate the two? And let's give it a shot. That one was a little scary, but it did come off. Let's go ahead and clean up all the stuff there. I'll come back and get some of that later. Uh, the liquid mask comes off pretty easy unless you had resin drop on it. It loses its flexibility and you gotta just kind of just pick it off. There we go. Come on, focus. Here we go. And good as new. Let's clean this side off. Uh, and on some of these deeper fills, you'll still end up with some uncured resin on the inside here. Uh, once I take the liquid mask off, I'll just hit that with a light real quick. And yes, I should be wearing gloves, but didn't anticipate touching the resin. <laughs> we'll just hit this with a light to finish the curing on the inside. And with any luck, this will look pretty decent put together. See how she turned out. Looks like it chipped a little bit pulling apart here, especially over here. But that's at least the basic idea. <laughs> I do wish it had turned out a little bit better. I, I'll revisit this off camera and, and finish patching these up and, and do it again. But that's the idea. All right, um, so after I stopped the last recording and I said I was gonna look at this off camera, I did. The reason that those gaps, or the reason it didn't sit so perfect as, as I had hoped was because the mask was actually really thick. So like right here is about perfect. If you can see, like it's translucent. It's almost transparent. You can see it right underneath it. You want that area to be as thin as possible uh, while still fully covering. Um, so yeah, I went ahead and uh, this time I applied it with a brush. It's a lot easier to get a thin layer with the brush than it is the silicone tools. So I'm going to go ahead and super glue this back into place. And this time I'm just going to use like regular visca, like straight out of the bottle resin. Uh, for a couple of reasons. One, it'll be the same color. Uh, when you put the baby powder in there, it goes, it goes a little bit lighter. And it, it's a little bit more self-leveling. And it'll, you know, go through like the, the cracks and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this in place. Let's see if we can't fix this. Um, actually, I still have the old glue on here. Hold on. All right, we've got all the old glue off. So we'll go ahead and glue this in place now. Should be enough. that cool just for a second. 
Um, this time though, I'm actually going to try using a, uh, this is like a sanding stick you can get at the hobby store. I'm just using it because it's got the fine point so I can drip the resin into the, into the areas. So let's, uh, let's give it a go. Might work with a. Let me think. I wonder. Let's try this. Just a pointy silicone tip. Okay, front looks pretty good. I'm gonna clean up along the belly here. Hit that with a UV real quick. And just move on, move to the side here. it fills in that final that crack right up against the uh, the mask I'll worry about back there in a second You certainly don't have to use <coughs> excuse me, a silicone tool. Could get away with like a toothpick or anything really. Now one of the risks with um using just a regular viscosity resin instead of it being thicker is if it raise if it runs into this into this hole and it goes further than I have masking you do run the risk of it binding to the to the jeans and you'll never get the pieces to separate This gap is actually probably a little too wide for this thin resin, but we almost got it. There. I believe we've got all the little cracks, so I'm just going to do a final cure just to make sure I didn't miss any spot. Okay. Let's see if it turned out any better this time with that thinner mask. And how does it sit? Should be just about perfect. Let's see. Ready?
there you go. There's a gap fill. A little bit of sanding to make it less shiny. Or alcohol wash even. Just to get rid of that sheen on it. And it should be pretty close to new. Or perfect.